Hello everyone, welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to my channel. I do hope you're doing well today. And today we're going to be talking about this most recent leave from Harry and Meghan's staff, this Josh Kettler, and their trip for uh, Columbia that is coming up. And I'm gonna give you some insight into why I believe this trip to Columbia is, well, the real reason why uh, they're going to Columbia and also uh, some insight into why this guy Josh left. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give you my thoughts on the matter. So let's go ahead and get into it, shall we? Otis, 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 Otis. Okay, so this is what's going on. So Harry and Meghan's chief of staff quits uh, ahead of the Columbia tour. That, that, there's a lot going on here. But before I get on into that, just really quickly, if you haven't started following me on Facebook, please, please follow me on Facebook. I'm, I'm putting up videos of Otis on my Facebook. I love doing it. So please, uh, yes, yeah, so follow me over on Facebook if you wouldn't mind, because this is getting good. And the reason why I talk about this, because I get people saying to me, well, why, why are you talking about them? What's so important about them? Let me just, just tell you really quickly why this is so important. Just, just, just a little snippet into it. First of all, we know Harry and Meghan are a train wreck. Everyone loves watching a train wreck. Everyone loves to rubberneck on what happened. Like, what happened? You know, because there's a lot happening here. A lot. Okay. So we're talking about what has happened. But also, we're talking about a couple that is trying to survive. This is like one of those soap operas that a lot of people love. People love soap operas. But the difference with this it's a true soap opera. It's true. And there is an impending disaster. There's an impending a lot of things. From my own life experiences, I can tell you that there is a build up to some not so good things happening or, or going to happen with this couple. And so this is why we talk about it. And also, Megan's political ambition. You follow it to understand how Megan is trying to change the narrative around things that can affect us. She does have political ambition and she does want to be in a position that is going to give her a lot of power. You just kind of think, would Harry or would anyone in the royal, would anybody who was a divorced, multicultural actress be able to marry into the royal family? Would you ever have thought that was possible? No. So don't think it's not impossible for Megan to get to places that she's trying to get to because you just don't think it could happen. I never thought a woman like her could marry into the royal family. I never thought it would be allowed considering all the things that we know about Megan. So you just never know. And following this has so many twists and turns and, and, and information that I think is very intriguing. And it is a soap opera and it's a true life soap opera. Not only that, but if only Harry and Meghan would listen and learn, they could be better. They could actually get themselves out of this predicament of a soap opera. But it is a little too late for Harry, I must admit. It's too late for Harry. Like, you're in it now. There's, there's no way really out of this for you. And that was my intention in the beginning of my channel. But, you know, we are where we are now. And this is just another thing in that saga that we're watching. So their U.S. operations essentially are crumbling. They have come to America. They've tried to put together. I mean, I look at what I've been able to accomplish on my own with no money, no notoriety. And it's pretty OK, decent. But you look at this, these two with the fame, the infamous behavior of this couple. You look at how much money they have in terms of what they could do with their money and you almost think how could you fail and that tells you right there that there is something wrong seriously wrong with your attitude if you are failing at this level with the resources that you have there is something seriously wrong that's why this is intriguing and interesting because you shouldn't fail having the things and resources that you have. You should not be failing. This should be so easy to accomplish. But there is something so wrong in your head that you can't even get past what is simple to do because your mental 
capacity, your mental awareness, your capability psychologically are that messed up. There is something about that that is just wow. That gives the wow factor. <laughs> I know I'm like, dang, are you serious? For real, for real? <laughs> you screw that up. You screwed up now this man, Josh, leaving you. What has happened, folks? Okay, so this latest casualty with Harry and Meghan's chief of staff, Josh Kettler, who is reported to have quit on a short notice. It was just like, I'm leaving after just being in this position for only three months. Now, Josh is no longer working for them. This says this California source revealed to the Daily Mail in a major blow shortly before Harry and Meghan are to embark on their their fake royal tour around South America. Now, this is what I do know about people who are professional, people that are at this level, like a Josh Kettler. Normal circumstances do not dictate that you would just quit short notice. There is something seriously happening behind the scenes that caused this very professional man to jeopardize his career to do something so high profile as this to quit on sh such short notice. He doesn't need their job recommendation. He doesn't want it. That's how bad it is. So you have to look at this as something very serious has happened. Although Harry and Meghan have reported to People Magazine, mind you, that no, oh no, he, did, he didn't quit on short notice. This was just a short term thing. This was just a short term. No, it wasn't. That's a lie. <laughs> that is a lie. This was no short term. Something happened and they're trying to spin it and clean it up. You know, like, oh, he, oh, he just left. You know, this was just a short term thing. You know, all this good here. Everything is good. No, -uh, you're not going to try to clean this up and try to tell us one thing, you know, like Judge Judy says, don't tell don't pee on my leg and tell me it's raining kind of a thing. Uh -uh. No, we don't believe you. <laughs> so he 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 has actually joined a long line of other people who have quit following the exit of Bennett Levine, who was the manager of their TV company, Archwell Productions, who also quit last year, as well as the Oscar nominated producer, Ben Brownie, who quit ahead of internal content and who quit as the head of internal content at the company in January of last year. Now, Josh, he was reportedly hired to guide Harry and Meghan through this next phase. That right there shows you it was not short term like Harry and Meghan are trying to tell you. If he was hired to guide you on your next phase, then your next phase is not going to be a short term thing. Your next phase is going to be a long term thing while you are doing what you're trying to do. The fact that he has actually left them before this international trip to Colombia. This is just not something that someone of his caliber would do. Now, Keller is described on his LinkedIn profile just by what he what his background is. I checked out his background and this is a very professional man who has supported elite C-level type uh, companies. Though he was only in the position a short time for three months, he was said to have been instrumental in the success of Harry Megan's Nigerian tour, but now he has left them in limbo, reportedly quitting his role. And I say quitting now tells us a couple things. It tells us that he probably did not want to go to Columbia. He did not agree with them going to Columbia. He more than likely has quit in a very hostile manner because you could easily, easily say, I'll leave after your trip to Columbia because this is something very important. This is someone who would help to manage everything that they're going to be doing while doing their Columbia tour. I wouldn't be surprised if they canceled it now. I don't know, but I would very highly doubt that this would be a good thing to do if your your chief, your head of um, your chief of staff actually just quits. It doesn't seem like a very smart thing to do to still go to Columbia, but 
I believe that they're still going to Columbia because they're getting paid a lot of money. They're not going to go there and Megan's not going to use this as a chance to, you know, talk about the things that she talks about with women and girls if she wasn't getting paid for it. And it also tells you that they are stricken financially because we know Harry's inheritance that is coming is just a drop in the bucket of the money that they actually need. And so I can only imagine that they're going to be getting a lot of money to go to Columbia. How bad does it have to be that you are willing to risk putting yourself in a very somewhat dangerous position with no chief of staff and you're still going to go? Like how bad does your circumstances have to be that you're still going to go? And if they do show up, if we do see them on this trip, they're desperate. They're in a very desperate position. They need to do it. Yeah, you want to hear this? Okay, so let's see what's, say, what's going on. This is what I find interesting, Otis. This is what I really find interesting because the Daily Mail is actually reporting that the royal couple actually lost nine employees since making the move to California. With a former employee telling a reporter, quote, what may be most telling is that the entire time I worked there, I don't think I heard a single current or former employee on their staff say that they would take the job again if given the chance. Yeah, it's bad. It's real bad. This is why it's a soap opera. Don't nobody want to work for these fools. Don't nobody want to work for a, a couple of uh, people who are so spoiled and entitled, they're getting what they deserve. And each one of these losses is a learning lesson for them if they're only willing to listen, mm -hmm. but they're not. So they'll keep making these mistakes. People will continue to quit and leave this company because Harry and Meghan can't understand why they are the problem. They don't get it. They don't get it. These aren't employees they had just found off of the streets. Many of these people who had previously excelled working for demanding bosses in high per performance companies and environments. The, uh, the this former employee goes on to, to say. So this tells you right there that Harry and Meghan are in such a predicament that they are willing to go to company company, go to a country where there is currently an ongoing civil war for power. To run this country that they are willing to go where they need to go because that's how bad their circumstances are so much so that the american government has issued a warning to americans not to go there they said don't go and uh, i think this josh keller said okay <laughs> i'm not going <laughs> he said i quit because he doesn't want to go because the american government said don't go if you're an american and josh said well i'm american I'm not going. And I think he told Harry and Meghan that he does not want to go. Why are you going? And he put his foot down and said, I'm not going to go. Very smart of him to do. But Harry and Meghan don't listen. They're knuckleheads. And so they're still going to go. I'm curious to see if they're still going to show up. And I'm going to throw out a wild scenario. Just, just a wild scenario for you all. Just to think if this could happen. Just, just think. What if... Harry and Meghan are going to Columbia because they know the chances of being kidnapped are there. What if they're putting themselves in harm's way to up their profile, to possibly be rescued or saved or negotiated to be released by kid said kidnappers so that they can look like heroes? Why would you put yourself in harm's way purposefully? The American government says, don't go. You're a high profile American, Megan. Harry, you're a high profile British person. You're a prince. Why would you go? Unless you are trying to put yourself in a scenario situation to become a hero. If you are kidnapped and then we know Harry probably believes he would have to be paid for to be released. He knows that his papa would pay X amount of dollars to get him released. I'm just throwing it out there. I could be completely wrong, but I'm just telling you the calculation, the premeditated ways of Megan would not surprise me if they wanted something like that scenario to happen because it would completely change things 
rather quickly for them from not being liked to being the hero. We're saved. And then they could go on and just try to start all over again with the nonsense that they're doing because they're not going to learn anything. I just throw it out there just to see. You never know. <laughs> I'm not advocating for that, but I am saying it makes you question why are you putting yourself in this position? Why? And I believe Josh Kettler, mm -mm, he's not that stupid. And this is why he left, because Harry and Meghan don't want to listen. So they're setting themselves up for, I believe, a lot of problems. They don't have anyone acting in this role when they go to Columbia. Now, what I find interesting, interesting is this. His trip to Columbia should include an admission that the country has been destroyed by narco terrorists servicing wealthy drug users in the West. And he should stand up and apologize for his own participation in that disgusting trade. That would be a very helpful intervention because we know he talked about using cocaine in his book Spare. And so you have to almost wonder, are you going to even do anything about the problems that they face in Colombia? Are you going to use this trip to also say things that you know should be said? And I believe no. So they're doing this trip because they're trying to enrich themselves. And they're so desperate to make the money to, to live and survive with the nonsense they've created that they're willing to put themselves in harm's way because that's how bad it is. Even with this man, Josh, leaving them, they still have to do it. We'll wait and see what happens. But I'm telling you right now, they are looking at a disaster of a trip. If they go on this trip without anyone being in this position as Josh Kettler was meant to be in while they're in Columbia. You're setting yourself up for failure, but it's so bad that you kind of have to because you need the money. I don't know, folks, but this here is a couple that is looking to find something that is going to get them somewhere in life in California. But the real problem is it will never happen. And it, it's these kinds of trips and these kinds of decisions that they are making that are showing us that Harry and Meghan really are completely lost, lost in a very dangerous world that they're trying to find some kind of substance in. And the reality is they'll never find it. They need to wake up to their new reality and try to redirect their own lives because I'm telling you, it is a continual soap opera.